Mm. Yeah, I think what we start to gain from the course that helps us is we start to see that that the belief in attack is in the mind, and when that belief in attack is projected to the world, we have things like what was witnessed in Orlando and what you're sharing now and so forth. Uh, from most perspectives, including the Bible, you know, uh, if we look at the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not kill, uh, that's still giving us guidelines that are basically behavioral. Uh, I think if you went even through the Ten Commandments, you could say that most of them are behavioral, and then the thing about thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, covet. You started to get into the mind. And what's so good about the Course, because Jesus said things like, you know, uh, verily, verily, I tell you, if, if a man has a lustful thought for a woman, not his wife, he commits adultery. See, lustful thought. He's, he really was teaching that is, we must work with our thoughts. It is our thoughts alone we must work with. I could be hurt by nothing but my thoughts. So we would say, if we just follow those beautiful teachings of Jesus in the Course and, and in the Bible, he's basically saying that, that what we would call murder and killing, which there's a trembling and a, and a fear, is a thought. And he's basically leading us through his mind training system to see that this whole world is a world of ideas. There's really not a, an actual external world. Because projection is an ego dynamic. It just tries to make it seem like it's being acted out. It's, it's taking form. So, if you can work with the Course and focus on paying attention to your emotions and your thoughts and just Take Jesus at his word, like, I'm never upset for the reason I think, and, and those kind of things. My thoughts are images I have made. My meaningless thoughts are showing me a meaningless world. If you really go into this mind training system, there will be all kinds of hurt, of, of deep sadness, of fear, of guilt. There will be all kinds of intense emotions that will come and pass through. Um, almost like if you were going on a plane and taking off, and you were going through the clouds, you have to allow all that to come. And yet, it's a retranslation. It's not trying to push those feelings down, not trying to deny them, uh, letting them come and everything. And for me, I would say, the, the years before the Course came into my life, I, I think I cried uh, in, a, in the basement of my parents' home, I think for about ten years of tears it started coming, and it, it was like, now you're false. They just, it, the tears came and came and came. It was like some kind of a huge emotional flush that I had to go through is preparing myself for the Course. And most people find that they, they have periods when they're going through the Course, that that's what happens. <laughs>